ultimately you'd feel the tidal forces. But As you get closer close. to the singularity. I think it's within the last few seconds for these, if I remember rightly, mm -hmm. very big black holes. And then you feel it, and then it's tidal forces, but you wouldn't have time to react, really. You just go, that's a bit. Right, but so you're not going to make an infinite number of quarks. No, uh, no, you won't make an infinite number of quarks. Because um, time stops it. Uh, right. You, I think you that's actually probably, get to the end of time. Having never thought about it, that's probably no. the answer. Wow, that, that's a really... That's so I mean, also, you, I mean, energy is conserved as well, so you can't... <laughs> You That's, couldn't make an infinite number of massive things. Maybe it then, could evaporate the black hole. So you'd be it could turn the whole black hole into quarks. Well, you're it's pulling uh, energy out of the... Well, no, the yeah. mass of the black hole will stay the same. So that process of hadronization... No, no, I get that. I get, I, I get that the mass will stay the same, but that mass energy budget is slowly getting converted into quarks because the quarks will keep making new quarks because you keep trying to rip them apart with your tidal forces. So you... Yo, so you're, you're saying, saying that the quartz are a drain on the so, electric so, bill. So, <laughs> like so, you're, so you're saying that space time would unwarp because the energy will be the, completely the converted into, into converted into man. It, and and you have hole. one giant quark. The quark I mean, catastrophe. That's, that's right? not what happens, isn't it? But but it's but how a do brilliant, you know that's not what happens? It's a brilliant question because we see black holes. Oh, okay. Well, so that's the answer. Oh yeah. Okay, that's it. But I can't argue. 